Good afternoon on this Wednesday. It is chilly out there today, and that's going to lead to a cold night tonight. You will need those coats tomorrow morning as you head out the door, uh, and the kids at the bus stop, too, are going to need to be bundled up. Here's a look at our weather story for the next few days. We're looking at that cold night tonight. In fact, a light freeze in our inland areas. Uh, but tomorrow, we start warming up a little bit. It'll be warming tomorrow and into Thursday and or into Friday. Before the weekend, our next front comes in Saturday, and that will bring a chance of a little bit of rain and then drop our temperatures once again. I did want to let you know about the great conjunction coming up over the next several nights. Keep an eye to the western sky in the evenings. We are looking at Jupiter and Saturn getting closer together and something that hasn't happened since 1623 and it hasn't been observable since 2026. These two are going to look like they're touching in the night sky to form a large star. This is called the great conjunction will occur on on the winter solstice. Tonight, you can see these two planets getting close together. They'll be very close in our western sky, and we have a clear sky to view it along with the crescent moon, which will be just underneath those. So something to check out this evening in the night sky and for the next few evenings as uh, we are going to see these two getting closer and closer. All right, we do have a clear sky outside, but it's cool. We have 60 degrees right now at Beeville. Notice that flag there not moving much, so the breeze is not very strong right now, only at 10 miles an hour. And in Rockport, we've got a beautiful sky, but cool, 61, sitting at 67, a little warmer at Kingsville right now with a lot of clear sky and a light north wind and very low humidity. The air is dry out there and Corpus Christi at 63 degrees. So with the dry air, the light winds and the clear skies, that radiational cooling, we call it, will occur tonight. And temperatures are going to drop down to 34 in Corpus Christi by morning. And look at Beeville below freezing, 31, 30 at George West, 32 Tilden. That's where that freeze warning is for tonight until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And you can see that freeze warning until 8 in the morning does include those counties, uh, including Live Oak County, Bee County, Refugio, our area, northern areas looking for those temperatures just below the freezing mark tonight. Tomorrow, we'll start to see temperatures modify a little bit and we'll be a little warmer in the afternoon, but you'll still need those coats in the morning, of course, but the afternoon looks nice. 64 in Corpus Christi tomorrow afternoon. And if you're hitting the water, boating looks good. We're looking at light winds shifting to the east tomorrow and bays smooth to slightly choppy. Well, while we're sitting in some pretty mild air, if you want to call it that, look at that storm to the north and east. See all that very cold air in New York and Cleveland? That is a winter storm shaping up up there and they're looking at some spots in New York State up to 20 inches of snow and notice all those winter storm warnings in the northeast for us certainly not nothing like that but we are going to see some slight changes Right now, we've got very dry air over us with high pressure and north breeze, but the next system, that cold front sitting off the Pacific Northwest, that will be here Saturday morning, and that'll bring us a chance of a little bit of rain, but certainly not much. So we do start to warm up a little. The clouds return starting Friday and into Saturday. Those clouds will thicken up, and in the, especially the morning hours, we may see a couple of showers Saturday morning, and then we'll see those winds shifting a bit and cooling us down a bit for Sunday, and Sunday does look like a dry dry day. Not much rain expected with this next system under a tenth of an inch. There's your seven day forecast then as we head into the holiday week for Christmas. It looks like we could see another cool down for Christmas, but before that we've got cool nights and mild days. Drew?